Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In today's video, I'll teach you how to do this animation in After Effects. I have attached the working file in the description below. You can download it and follow along. Without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's get started with the animation. We already have our text in here. Let's go to the position property. Let's hit the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Go forward 30 frames. And then let's move the position down to about here. And then let's go forward 30 frames again. Copy the first keyframe. Now we have an animation that's going up and down. However, it's really slow. Let's go select them all. Right click, go to keyframe velocity. Over here, we can change the influence to 70% on the outgoing and the incoming. After we change that, this is gonna be our animation. We're adding a bit of easing onto our animation. Let's copy all the three keyframes and then paste them again to give it another two loops. Now that we have an animation looking like this, it's coming up and down, looking great. Next thing, we're gonna select the decompose text plugin that we have here and then let's decompose the text of my text layer after we click on the decompose text you can see that we have all our letters separated on its own layer i'll close the window here i can hide this layer because i don't need it anymore so the next thing let's hit p on the keyboard open the position property i just want to move these letters close to each other so that they're stacked on top of each other Let's go to the position property of the A. Let's move the A towards the left side. And then we're just gonna move every single letter to the left. So they're stacking. And notice I'm moving them by selecting all the keyframes. That way I won't be changing the keyframe. We're still maintaining the animation that we had. I'm just moving the overall position to the left so they're stacking on top of each other. That looks pretty good. Let's see the animation. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We will publish new content every week. Click the subscribe button to level up your animation skills and get inspired with great animation every week. You can also join our exclusive community to hang out with motion designers to grow together. Check the link in the description below. And next thing I need to do is to offset the keyframes, right? We're gonna offset by maybe two frames. Let's go for two frames and then we can move these keyframes over just to offset them by two frames. So that all my letters are waving. Last batch. Let's see the animation. Yep. So that's how we can create this waving animation. That looks pretty good. Let's go select all of them. And then let's group them together. Call this one waving. That's good. I'll move it to the center. Let's duplicate this waving animation. Now, in the second layer, I'll go to add a stroke layer style. Go to layer style, add a stroke. On the stroke, we're going to change it to a black color. Change the stroke width to two point. And now let's go to our color. I want to drag my color into the timeline. Let's just go add a fill to our new waving composition that we duplicated. And then let's change the color to this one. Let's duplicate again, change this color to this purple, duplicate again, change the color to this green, and then the last one would be in this light blue color. Next thing we do, we just go offset the layer by one frame. Let's go for one frame, offset this one, 
and go one frame offset. Now that we offset these four layers by one frame, I also want I also want to offset the position. So with the second wave being selected, I'll just move the position property of the entire layer so that it's offset. You can see that it's been moved to the left and also move down so that they are offsetting like this. Let me turn off my color layer. Let's see the animation now. Yeah, I think I like how it looks. That's basically the animation that we need. Now we just need to select all the layers, group them together again, call this one waving animation. And now we can move it to the center, duplicate it two more times. All right, there you go. That's our waving type animation. That's it with this video. Hope you liked it and learned a couple tips and tricks for our next project. Let me know if this video is helpful in the comments down below and what other videos or tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. I love to hear your feedback. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to use a different effect or do anything differently from this video. Let's keep sharing and grow together. One last thing, don't forget to join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with fellow designers. Stay on top of industry trends and grow together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.